Hey there fellow traders, welcome back to Insider Financial. I'm Alex Carlson and in this video we will recap today's stock market action and discuss our game plan for tomorrow. But first, we want to bring another profile to your attention. Pull up AGFY immediately. Agrify is a leading provider of innovative cultivation and extraction solutions for the cannabis industry, bringing data, science, and technology to the forefront of the market. The company's proprietary microenvironment controlled vertical farming units enable cultivators to produce the highest quality products with unmatched consistency, yield, and return on investment at scale. Its comprehensive extraction product line, which includes includes hydrocarbon, ethanol, solventless extraction, post-processing, and lab equipment empowers producers to maximize the quantity and quality of extract required for premium concentrates. We saw this one explode all the way up to 74 cents on huge interest during Thursday's session, releasing explosive news that caught the street's attention, causing it to have the company's second highest volume in the past year. According to Finviz, the float is just 4.17 million shares and the current market cap is just $4.38 million. Today, the company announced a multifaceted transaction that includes a $3.4 million cultivation and extraction order for 156 of Agrify's vertical farming units and a complete turnkey pure pressure solventless extraction lab package a two-year service support agreement at $350 per pound production success fees and a five years uh, approximately one million dollar sir uh, software as a service fee agreement Last week, the company announced the signing of a term sheet with PDS Ventures, a licensed Michigan operator to provide PDS Ventures with Agrify's multi-year end-to-end managed extraction services. The multi-year managed service contract allows Agrify to collect a monthly production success fee based on the actual amount of finished product produced and a monthly management fee during the duration of the contract term. Agrify could potentially earn up to $2 million throughout the lifetime of this multi-year managed service contract with PDS Ventures. To read our full report on AGFY, click that link in the description or go to insiderfinancial.com backslash lp backslash youtube no spam your info is never shared unsubscribe anytime you can even sign up just to see the level of research we do here at insider financial and unsubscribe well guys after trading mixed through most of thursday u.s stocks eventually ended higher on a late session push. The advance was enough to help the NASDAQ composite post a new record closing high more than two years since it set the previous mark. Today's advance came after market participants digested a key economic report on Leap Day which showed a slow but steady progress against inflation. The Federal Reserve's favorite price gauge arrived in line with estimates. Still, the indicator surged to its highest monthly reading in nearly a year, underscoring the sticky nature of current inflationary trends. The tech-heavy Nasdaq advanced 0.9% to settle at 16,091 points, a new all-time closing peak. The previous mark had been set on November 19, 2021. The benchmark S&P 500 added 0.52%, while the Dow climbed 0.12%. Before the start of regular trading, the U.S. Bureau of Economic Analysis published the Personal Income and Outlays, Outlays Report for January. The data showed that the core personal consumption expenditures price index, the Fed's preferred inflation gauge, rose 0.4% month over month, coming in spot on with the estimate of plus 0.4 percent but accelerating from the 0.1 percent rise seen in december 2023 moreover the figure was the highest since february of last year on a year-over-year -year basis core pc price index was up 2.8 percent also coming in line with estimates and cooling slightly from the 2.9 percent increase in december coming on the heels of a hotter than in 
anticipated consumer and price inflation reports earlier this month, today's PCE data painted a mixed picture. On the one hand, the readings could have come in much higher than expected, and the fact that the core PC matched consensus was probably a relief. The slight deceleration on an annualized basis will also be welcome and will be seen as a slow but steady move towards the Fed's 2% inflation target. On the other hand, the data reinforced reinforce concerns over inflation remaining sticky. According to the CME FedWatch tool, the PCE data resulted in a slight uptick and market expectations for rate cuts. The odds of a 25 basis point rate cut in May has edged up to about 23% from 18% a day earlier. In terms of small caps making news, uh, C3.ai uh, shares were up 24% percent today uh, after the enterprise software company reported stronger than expected third quarter results and guidance leading to praise from Wall Street. The Thomas Siebel led company is capitalizing on the generative artificial intelligence opportunity and aggressively investing to further expand its market share across the, the world. Wed, Wedbush securities analyst Dan Ives said Ives boosted his price target to $40 from $35 following the results. C3.ai now sees full year fiscal 2024 revenue between 306 million and 310 million, up from a prior forecast of 295 million to 320 million. The consensus estimate is for 305 million. For fiscal fourth, fourth quarter sales are expected to be between 82 million and 86 million versus a consensus of 83.91 million. Morgan Stanley analysts uh, kept their underweight rating but bumped their price target to $21 from 20, noting the results represented the fourth straight quarter of revenue revenue acceleration. Government was a key area of strength with federal revenue up 100% plus. However, with revenue growth still projected to come in below 20%, valuation does not yet look attractive at 12.3 times sales. The company uh, reported an adjusted loss per share of 13 cents for the fiscal third quarter on revenue of 78.4 million. Analysts had been expecting a loss of 28 cents per share on sales of 76 million. The company closed 50 agreements in the quarter, entering into new deals with companies like Boston Scientific, AbbVie, and T-Mobile. Moreover, C3.ai's federal contracts continued to show significant strength, with revenue and bookings from federal services up 100% and 85% year-over-year respectively. The company entered into and expanded upon agreements with agencies such as the U.S. Department of Defense and the U.S. Air Force. Subscription revenue during the period rose 23% year over year to 70.4 million, comprising 90% of total revenue. So AI boosted AI stocks. Uh, SoundHound ran up today ahead of its earnings, but it is trading lower in after hours. Uh, the shares were down uh, 11%, uh, giving back most of the gains achieved during the regular trading session. For the period ending December 31st, SoundHound AI said it lost $0.07 cents per share as revenue surged 80% year-over-year to $17.1 million. Analysts had expected a loss of $0.06 cents per share on $17.75 million in sales. Adjusted EBITDA during the period was a loss of $3.7 million, an improvement from the negative 18 $18.8 million it recorded a year ago. This was a breakthrough year in which SoundHound rapidly integrated powerful new generative AI capabilities. The company's CEO said, our real-world voice AI applications are already live and driving consumer engagement across vehicles, devices, and customer service businesses. SoundHound, which signed deals with companies like Jersey Mike's, Krispy Kreme, White Castle, and Church's Chicken last year to utilize its voice AI in their respective stores, said it expects fiscal 2024 sales to be between $63 million and $77 million. And also, we're expecting $69.73 million in revenue for the coming fiscal year. Looking to fiscal 2025, SoundHound expects revenue to top $100 million, while adjusted EBITDA is expected to be positive. SoundHound shares have surged more than 200% year to date. I will also be scanning uh, pre-market. Uh, if I see anything else, I will let subscribers know. But the main
main focus for uh, Friday is AGFY. Make sure you read our full report and do your research. At Insider Financial, we put stocks on your radar with potential outsized moves. As I repeatedly stated, there are always opportunities in the markets daily. The important thing is identifying which stocks to be in to grab that money. The key is trading green, not red. We are looking for those momentum plays that have catalysts. It's all about finding the momentum before it happens and riding that wave. That's what we're doing here at Insider Financial. And to get our small cap reports, we cover low floats, short squeezes, recent IPOs, biotech FDA plays, AI stocks, EV stocks, lithium stocks, and insider buying. Click that link in the description or go to insiderfinancial.com backslash LP backslash YouTube or just go to insiderfinancial.com. Sign up with your email and also your mobile. Mobile is the fastest, fastest way to get all of our alerts, and it works for all numbers worldwide. No spam. Your info is never shared. Unsubscribe anytime. You can even sign up just to see the level of research we do here at Insider Financial and unsubscribe. Finally, th thanks to Sure Thing Media for sponsoring this video on AGFY. Insider Financial and I are not investment advisors. This video does not provide investment advice. Always do your research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is nice solicitation and recommendation by Seller Hold Securities. This video is our opinion, is meant for informational and educational purposes only, and does not provide investment advice. Past performance is not indicative of future performance. Thanks for joining me today on Insider Financial. Hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to never miss the latest insights and strategies. Until next time, happy trading. This is Alex Carlson signing off. Bye-bye.